folks, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Yeah, there was another earthquake there in Ohio, a magnitude 2.4. It was about 40 miles southeast of Cincinnati, and it occurred at 11.38 p.m. I got two reports, people saying that they felt this earthquake. Um, USGS only has one that they're reporting. And I did find a really good map showing um, the earthquakes in this list location, historical earthquakes. Let me zoom in a little bit because here's the magnitude 2.4 and over here it would be Cincinnati. Southeastern Ohio has been the epicenter, the location of at least 25 earthquakes above a magnitude 2.0 since 1776. Events in 1776 and 1779, and then one in 1901. I do have that one marked here, right there. The locations for the 1776 and the 1779, um, yeah, they just don't know exactly where that was at. The earthquake in 1901 happened on May 17th. Uh, during this earthquake, bricks were dislodged from chimneys. Some windows were broken in Portsmouth. And chimneys were damaged in Scotiaville. Um, they gave an intensity level of 6. Uh, looking at, you know, past information, newspaper reports, letters, things like this. This 4.3 was probably the largest earthquake historically um, that I could find in this location. Yeah, there's quite a few. Yeah, especially for Cincinnati. Let me show you there. Um, they're not quite sure about the location for the uh, magnitude 2.9 in 1936. So they actually gave two locations close to the river. And as you know, fault lines often follow uh, rivers and streams and things like that, bodies of water. But history does have a way of repeating. Uh, those that may live in Cincinnati, um, I'm chuckling because I'm thinking about um, that old sitcom back in the 80s. I believe it was a radio station that they were in Cincinnati's. And there's probably still a lot of um, historical buildings made with brick and mortar. Here you can see up over here um, by Summerside and Stone Lick, 1805, there was a 2.5, and then 1804, a 2.9. Okay, let me bring this out. Over here we got the Greenville Fault Zone. This is part of that fault zone that um, kind of traveled off of the New Madrid Fault Zone. See, it's drawn out in yellow. It's an offshoot for the New Madrid Fault Zone when the country was originally going to be uh, divided up, split into half. The earthquakes that I got marked here, um, a 1.5. Um, now that happened this year. That was, let's see, October. Yeah, the 31st, just a few days ago. Um... Let's see, and what else? I think there was another one that I don't have the year. So that happened this year. There's probably another fault line close to where um, last night 2.4 earthquake occurred. You can see we got kind of curves around. Yeah, so they probably got a fault line that goes up through here. Or it could follow the river, and these are offshoots from the river. So at least... Three people felt this 2.4. USGS only has one. And I say three because I got two reports on my YouTube account from two different people asking me about this earthquake that occurred last night. Supposedly at 11.38 p.m. It was 5.2 miles in depth. There you can see Georgetown. Yeah, most of the people. It's got a real sparse population here, but um, probably people from Georgetown that felt this earthquake. Did you feel it? Because you did post on YouTube 
under a different video that you felt the earthquake. I would like to know how long did it last? Um, did your pets react if you have pets, you know, prior to that earthquake? And did you have any symptoms of like vertigo, dizziness, things like that? And did you have damage? Did anything fall off your shelf from this earthquake? Please put that information down below. Thank you very much for letting me know. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you're still subscribed. Like, share, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, always be prepared for some type of disaster. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.